All right, joining me now to continue this discussion is uh, the former president of Aka Ikenga, which is uh, an Igbo social cultural group. Uh, Godi Uwazuriki, of course, used to be the president of uh, that organization. Chief Godi Uwazuriki, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the program. I know you have been at the forefront now of uh, the campaign to get um, a, a southeastern presidency. And um, it appears, uh, do, do you, uh, let me just put the question that way, do, do you think um, that that quest now could be easily achieved through um, the current president, Muhammadu Buhari, because basically that's uh, what uh, the secretary to the government of the federation said when uh, those Igbo leaders went to visit him uh, last week. Well, I know that Igbo leaders have not really visited President Muhammadu Buhari. There have been some people who style themselves Igbo leaders and they go there. I see them as political merchants. When the boys want to send the delegation, the man who will lead will always be the president general for Hanese. And if he's not there, then you cannot see what leaders have done. Okay, there. but, but, but what, what I'm saying, I'm, I'm actually not particular about the, the visit of these leaders, but I'm, I'm particular about yes, the, the issue at stake the here. The contents. I mean, uh, yes, the issue at stake, you, I know. You heard what the secretary to the government of the Federation said. Even before the secretary to the government of the Federation actually spoke, the uh, chairman, the national chairman of the APC had said this a while back, that um, the APC represents uh, the best chance for um, uh, the, 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 the Southeasterners to, um, you know, realize their quest for Southeastern presidency in 2023. Well, I am laughing. Our ambassador, our former president, we say, I had a laugh. For. You see, when it, when it comes to election period, all kinds of promises are made. Most of them have 2019 election in view. I respect Mr. Boss Mustafa. I respect Chief John Odigi Oyegu. They can speak, but I believe they were given what I call political carrots. They said, if you vote for this man, then this man will help you. The man who will help us has not spoken. But it's, it's, is it just about the man now? Is it just about the man? Don't you think? Because at the end of the day, this is still about politics. And don't you think this yes. is a time, of course, for the Southeasterners to begin to negotiate, not just with um, the APC, of course, not just with President Buhari, because at the end of the day, I mean, there's, there's, there's so much President Buhari can say. At the end of the day, it would not definitely boil down to him. Well, let me give you a straightforward answer. Credibility is what is at stake now. Credibility of the, both the offerer, the person offering us, and the credibility of those who are responding on behalf of Ndebo. And that is where the lacuna lies. The man who is making the promise has no credibility to make that kind of promise. If he's party chairman, he could have said the APC has taken a decision that the power shall go to the southeast by the year 2023. No such thing. It is if you do this, the party will do this. If PDP comes to us to say by 2023 power will shift to southeast, I will believe them. But why? as for APC, why, I will why, why would you have believe? Six excuse zona. me now. Why would you believe the PDP, for instance? Because the fact is that the PDP has zoned the presidency to uh, the north of the country now. Should the PDP win the next election, of course, you would not expect that the candidate of the PDP, that candidate of the PDP, would want to leave after four years. I will tell you why I will believe PDP and not APC. APC said we have North and South. When it comes to the South, all the zones in the South will vie. Nothing reserved for either Southeast, South, South, Southwest. In other words, if it comes here 10 times, everybody's out. If it goes to the North, everybody will come out. That is where the problem lies. If APC says, by our constitution, we move zone by zone, then I will believe them. PDP says by our constitution we move zone by zone. So we must face reality. The but, reality but today let's, is let's, any let's, promise, let's face any I, I can understand. I can understand. I, I can understand what, whatever you have against um, the, the APC and all of that. But, but I, what I am saying in reality, in reality, let's even put the politics aside. In reality, don't you think 
the Southeast stands a better chance of getting it, whether through negotiation, well, of course it has to be through negotiation anyway, of getting it that, uh, through the APC. Because should, should this president, for instance, contest and win, he spends only four years in power. But should another candidate from another party contest and win, especially from the North, he spends, th there's no guarantee that he will spend four years in power. And there's no guarantee I, that after he spends that four, or after eight years in power, that um, the discussion would not change. You see, I like facing reality. Reality today, reality today is that one man is there, he wants another chance. He has never promised that power will shift. Never. That's the boss. He's the ogre. If the ogre wants to spearhead the discussion, we will. As it is, the outgoing chairman made a comment. Second, the government made a comment. As a lawyer, I know that those things are called invitation to treats. That is not an offer. An offer must be certain. If they want it so, they should put it down in their constitution. That power must move from one zone to the other. Whether this thing is in the constitution or not, I, I just know that it's, up to, uh, it's also up to you to, to negotiate. Negotiate. Yeah, but you negotiate uh, based on the with, terms of you know, what you have. Practically, uh, the, the other zones, uh, if you like, and uh, that it's the other geopolitical zones now, if you like, and that uh, ultimately the decision does not rest on one man, even if that man is the president of this country. Uh, but let me give you a straightforward answer. Now, one man who is the president of the country can speak for the country, can speak for his party. He is the only man who will say, I believe that after me, this power should shift. If he makes that comment, many people will believe him. But as it is, he has said nothing. Let's just wait and see. But one thing I know is that um, the Southeastern political leaders have got to play their game very well. As a matter of fact, as they yes. always say, power is not given a la carte. You have to fight for it. You have to negotiate for it. You don't just sit That's down and wait, even very if said. it's I in the constitution him. of a political party. So long as that arrangement is not in the constitution of the country. You just have to negotiate it out. You've got no, to no, no, no. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> ask Thank you very much. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but thank you very much for joining us. All right, that's it on the program. But if you want to watch it again, it's simple. Just go to our website at www.tvtracysinagera.com. You'll find this program and lots more there. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com forward slash TV360 Nigeria. Do subscribe now to get the latest updates of happenings around the country. You can join us on Google Plus. Nigeria. Like us on Facebook. The address is facebook.com forward slash TV360 online. You can as well follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at TV360 Nigeria. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next week.